guys welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here thank you for joining me today i really do appreciate it so today we've got a different kind of video so we so we're doing a beauty corner room tour i don't have much space in my bedroom and i'm trying to make the most of the space that i do have and the way i was storing my makeup was just overwhelming so yeah i decided to switch it up last night well early hours of this morning should i say it was about one o'clock and I didn't get it done till about four, so I was at it for a good three hours. And I just wanted to make the most of my storage in my collection um, and not have as much clutter everywhere. So I want to show you what I've done. Let's go and see what I did, guys. So this is where I keep all my perfumes. I have a lot less than I used to have. I've got one more near my vanity, um, which I'll show you in a second. But these, this one, the Shador one, is my favourite. I've probably only used it once since my mum bought it for my birthday. And then this opium I really like as well. It's probably a little bit too strong. And then my mum gave me the last bit of this Gucci one. Gucci Flora. Um, so she gave me that. Then, let's have a look. I don't want to smash any of them. Oh, this one's from the body shop. Um, this is probably the one that I'm going to work on panning next. Um, cherry Blossom, is it? It's 100ml anyway. I'm sure it's Cherry Blossom. Oh, Japanese Cherry Blossom. Can you see that? So that is probably the one I'm going to work on next. Then I got this one from my brother and sister and niece's quite a few years ago i should really work on the oldest first shouldn't i i think the oldest one i've got is this one by um like paco Rabanne lady million i think we're gonna have to work on this next rather than the um the cherry blossom just purely because that one's the oldest one and then i've got this carl lagerfeld one um so we've only got one two three four five Five ones that I want to kind of pan this year. I'm probably not going to get to panning them this year. And then two here. And then I can bring some more into the collection. Right, so these are my makeup brushes. We've got some eyeshadow brushes in here that need washing. Um, some face brushes here. Um, oh, there's my mascara there that I'm using. The only mascara I'm using. So that just stays in there. Normally these... Because I film very close to my bed, normally I just put these on the bed. And whatever brushes I need, I just take out of. Um, and then these ones, I'm not really using. I need to go through my brushes because you'll see in a second, there is no way that I need all these brushes. And then there's just a star candle there that I don't use. And my phone cover here. Um, it's just a clear one. So let's go over to the desk. Can you see how... We've got loads of brushes here now. Um, I just feel like I don't need it, guys. I, I feel like I don't need that overflow of face brushes plus those. And I've got some in the bathroom that need to be cleaned as well. Oh, that's for sure better. I, I went to get a few more batteries. So anyway, these are all my brushes. All clean brushes apart from this one and this one and then cleaning um so yeah they're the brushes i'm going to be using for the current month um i've actually done a video on what brushes have gone in here um so this is kind of a sneak peek so that brush collection and how we stored them in this rotating holder this video might go up first right and then we've just got my mobile phone here and the charger this charge is pretty cool um i can watch videos on it while it charges up so we've got that there um then we've just got my makeup sponges and sharpener yeah that's better um my jewelry box here i bought this for my mum um but i she gave it me back she said she didn't have room for it um then my glasses there that's my new prescription glasses my sellotape there um then we've got my laptop here i wanted a space for my laptop and my ipad um so i moved a lot of things around and then my planner there which i've had for years guys i just need to start using it we've got my mirror here sorry i'm still in my pjs i've just not long come out of the shower um and this is probably the most changes I've made. 
So this now holds all my Shop My Stash products, which I'm gonna talk which I'm going to take. If you're, if you're not a regular watcher of my Shop My Stash, then you can at least see um, what's in this week's Shop My Stash. So I've got my Russian dolls on top that my mum gave me. I absolutely love them. I've had them years. Then this um, little teddy here is from... Where's it from again? Uh, Life of Pets. and That's Chloe, apparently. I've not seen that film. Um, but yeah, that's Chloe. My niece gave it me... Um, she gave it me... She's 11 now, she gave me when she was 10 for Christmas, so I, it has to have pride of place there. And then, let's just take her down a second. So all these lipsticks here are in my Shop My Stash for this coming week. This one, and these two here always stay in just because they're bougie packaging and I like the way they look. But everything else um, is in for my current rotation of Shop My Stash. Then we've got nail polishes back there, they always stay there. Um, we've got a few lip crayons, so we've got the tight one there. Um, we've got the sleek one, which has been in now two weeks. Um, we've got a lip gloss there, I'm not taking everything out, a Chanel lip gloss. Um, a Barry M crayon there. Um, then I've got this. This is absolutely crap, guys. It's a pigment transformer, but it doesn't work. It, it's just a greasy one. Um, I don't even know what to do with that. Then we've got this e.l.f. lipstick, which I'm not too sure on. Um, so I'm just going to take these down and I can show you what's inside. Right, so these are all my palettes. You can lift it up. Um, right, so basically we've got the Colourpop Wild Nothing at the front, the two Huda ones that I want to keep in and I want to use when I get the chance. So Huda Beauty Gemstone Obsessions and Huda Beauty Nude Light. Then we've got my Colourpop Super Shock. Let's just close it a second. We've got the Colourpop Super Shock, <coughs> excuse me, that I'm using with the Wild Nothing palette. Um, I've already done a look with this, it should come, it should go up soon, it's called Chase the Light, it's part of their tie-dye collection. Um, we've got the Amethyst Glitter Palette there, the, I always forget the name of this one. So this one's by Revolution, it's the Mini Tasty Avocado Palette. Um, we've got my Keys Lip Balm there, my Barry M Lip Scrub there, my USB with my CV on it because I'm applying for jobs at the moment and I'm always losing this thing so I want to keep it there for when I need it. Right, so let's pop the things back. Okay, so that's what the top looks like and that's um, what the top of the um, container looks like. Then in the second drawer, so it fits quite a lot. The reason I've never used this is because I didn't think it would fit everything in. Um, so we've got my, these are the three foundations I'm working on this week. So we've got my Max Factor Radiant Lift, my Wet n Wild. That's just the normal one. I do have the dewy one as well. But because this is kind of a radiant foundation, I didn't want to pull another dewy product. Then we've got the PS My Perfect Colour Perfect Finish Foundation, which I'm working on for my project pan. My... SPF, which is a really good one. It's from Superdrug. I think it was only $2.99. Then we've got my Illuminator, which is the Technique Strobe FX Creaming Catching Rays. Catching Rays is the name of it, or the shade of it, should I say. Then this one. This one would never fit anywhere. I always had to put it on top of a container, um, but it fits nicely in here. So we've got the Revolution Concealing Glow. My shade is in F2. These shades are in porcelain, by the way. I think the wet and wild one is in porcelain. No, it's soft ivory. Um, but these two are in porcelain. That one looks way darker than that. Um, then we've got my concealer, which I've nearly finished. Uh, that's by Revolution as well. We've also got my pore refining primer there. Another concealer here for when I finish my Revolution one. Um, we've got an undry brightener here. It's getting quite old though, so I might declutter it. We've got my Project Pan powder that I'm working on. And I brought this one in this week to work on as well. Um, it's the e.l.f. Sheer Tint Finishing Powder. So that's those. Then we've got my NYX White Base here. 
actually no that is an old container I'm gonna get rid of that one I don't need that in there because eventually this one it'll be empty and if I need a container that size I'll just use that one um, we've got this essence cover stick that my mum gave to me and then back there we've got my primer so it's the Beam Dream Face and Body Illuminating Primer which I'm using this week so the only primers we've got is that one and that one this one is supposed to be a pore refining primer but it doesn't fill in the pores I don't think so anyway second drawer down right so this is where I keep all my blushes so we've got I need to use these up and then I can just get it out well I've used that one these are the Glossier Cloud paints so I just need to use that I've concentrated on using that this week um, so at the back of that we've got this Physicians Formula Sexy Booster Bronzer which I've nearly used up we've got the Dior Rosy Glow in Petal we've got the NARS Orgasm which is part of Project Pan which I've not used in a hot minute this Rimmel Royal Blush in the shade Majestic Pink that's new I'm not too sure how I feel about it the very mini Too Faced um, Love Flush in Love Hangover and then we've got the Natasha Denona Love Cheek Duo favourite by a mile this is my favourite palette by a mile at the moment that's why it's been in for the last three weeks then we've got the Wet n Wild Mellowed Wine Blush the Revolution uh, Mega Cool Bronzer the Colourpop Super Shot Cheeks in Jellyfish absolutely love this one as well um, it's the Steeler Convertible Lip and Cheek Duo in the shade Petunia um, then we've got this L'Oreal Infallible blush paint. I'm not too sure how I feel about it. That's why I brought it in because I want to rank my blushes soon, my cream blushes. Um, then we've got this Glow Stick by Primark. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a highlighter stick for deep skin tones. It's in the shade Rose Gold. So, yeah, I kept that in. And at the back of that, I've got this... Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Stoned Rose um, and I use this as cream blush it's better for me as cream blush I don't like that lipstick on me um, so yeah that's everything from the blush and bronzer drawer now highlighters well we've got one face palette so it's the Coys Bronze and Glow palette it's really really nice then we've got the Dior highlighter in the shade Dior Skin Nude Air uh, 002 then we've got this Pixie by Petra um, I got this on a recommendation from Make Life Your Runway I should have thought better of it really she has got a deeper skin tone than me she loves this um, I don't personally it doesn't work for me I mean this side isn't too bad and at the moment I'm trialing this side as a bronze topper um, but yeah that's in this week's shop my stash this is kind of in a unofficial project pan it's the mini from Becca and it's in the shade opal which is slightly too deep as well so I've been trying to use it as an inner corner highlight then this one is in project pan as well it's my super short cheeks in lunch money I brought this in because I hadn't used it in a long time so it's the elf in moonlight pearls this one is in chopping block it's the revolution um, raise the bar highlighter then we've got the balms mary luminizer absolutely love that we've got another one um, that's in project pan and has been for the last couple of years it's the um, mac I always forget the name it's the mac soft and gentle I don't know why I forget the name because it's a cult classic um, and then I've got this cream stick highlighter from new look um, and this one is in the shade gold right so that's that fourth draw down it's just project pan items so we've got the revolution and imagination highlight to the moon palette and my Chanel bronzer so that's all I've got in there so far and then in this drawer down here we've got my setting powder my Too Faced setting powder just because there's nowhere else for me to put it brow products 
So, brow products there, and obviously my, my Natasha Denona that I want to get more use on. It's not in Project Pan, but I just want to get more use on it. Some more brow products there. This illuminator because it won't fit anywhere else. And then we've got all my lip products. Some are in Project Pan, um, like this one. I want. It's practically all gone anyway, but I'm, I'm just using this up before I move on to another lip oil. And then we've got other lip balms in there like this. Palmer's Cocoa Butter one, um, just a mixture of everything, um, so yeah, that's what that drawer looks like. Right, so I am actually going to get rid of that one, that part, um, so, see if we can give you an overview of what I've shown you already. So we started off there, didn't we, so this is what it looks like to this point. I think it looks better, especially if I get a job and I have to work from home, I'm going to need some kind of desk space and I've got literally all that desk space because I can move those brushes over there while I work and pretty much everything that's on there while I work. Um, so yeah, I've got at least a good half a desk maybe, well, three quarters of a desk there. Um, so let's go over here now. So that's the perfume I'm panning. Um, I'm about halfway done with it, so it's the Katy Perry Meow. Sorry, I'm <coughs> sorry, I'm losing my voice. Got a couple of setting sprays there. Then my rotating lipstick spinner is back there for all my high-end lipsticks. Um, we've got my NYX um, NYX lingerie lipsticks in that skull part there. They've always stayed in there. I think they look cute. My YouTube plaque there, which I think looks nice. Then we've got eyeshadow brushes back here. I'll show you just how many. Just here. Um, so I wanna I wanna clean my other eyeshadow brushes and then we can take some out of there and just there's enough to keep me going for a few weeks without having to use the colour switch. Um, so that's that. And then we've got uh, my essence spray there, which I absolutely adore. I've actually just bought a new one from Poundland. Um, I'll show you it. Right, so that is the one that I got from Poundland yesterday. So it's by Makeup Gallery, which is Poundland's own brand. It's the It's Short Time 2-in-1 Prime and Fix Spray in the dewy version of it. Right, so they do do a matte version of that. Um, so, yeah, um, got that. Um, and then this one is just Techniques Magic Mist, but it's got, can you see all that glitter down there? I don't know how I'm going to feel about that, but at least I've got the Poundland one, so that should do me until next month. Um, I probably could do with another Essence Spray, but once I'm out of that, I'll just use a setting spray more often. Then my rubbing alcohol is at the back. Let's pop this back up. I like to keep it at an angle, the plaque, so there's more chance of it actually showing up in camera. Um, so yeah, and on the walls guys, there's that, that's always been around, I've had it two years now, I got it originally from Primark, um, and then I've got that print there, and then think happy, be happy there. Right, so the drawers, right, so this drawer is dedicated to Colourpop. I've got quite a lot of Colourpop items now, so let's just move. Right, so I think there's about 15 Super Shocks here. Um, then we've got the Truly Madly Deeply palette there, the High Society and the Fade Into You just down there. So we've got enough room for other palettes to go on top if they don't fit. Here, but I'm trying to get as much in here as I possibly can but I've got the Wild Nothing palette to come in what I've had to do which I'm not that happy about because I like to keep the cardboard I won't do it for the palettes that come in cardboard because they get so dirty so easily but the plastic container ones you can wipe off really really easily um, so I've just got rid of the packaging I'll keep the packaging in case I I move this eventually to bigger storage which if my colour pa palettes continue to grow then I'll have to do that or, ha or I'll have to just make room in the chest of drawers I've got um, but I do like to have them on display so we've got the two cutest here so Frozen 2 Elsa and Star Wars Mandalorian the Child 
then we've got making mauves making mauves really should be with the purples over here so I think I'm going to change that over so let's just change that over right so then we've got aura and out meant to be and just my look and I think what I'll do is put this one this colour pop grandeur palette back there because it's kind of green um, then we've got Coast to Coral, Miss Bliss and Baby Got Peach so that's them there um, so you've seen the child palette so then we've got Going Coconuts, In a Trance, Lilac You A Lot, Making Moves, Her uh, Her Honey, Limoncello I've had to take the Limoncello palette out of its packaging because it wouldn't close um, then we've got Flutterby and Good As Gold I've actually got the Lizzie McGuire palette coming as well I forgot about that so we might have to take them out of the cardboard but I'm always going to keep the cardboard packaging so if it gets to the point where I'm not liking it or the palettes are getting too dirty then I'm going to find a different storage solution for them um, but I do have some room up there as well a little bit then we've got the Boudoir Noir and also the Menage Noir so I've got the obviously the wild nothing in my shop my stash for this week and then I've got the Liz McGuire palette coming I got that from Depop at such a great price everyone else is trying to rip you off on Depop but there's this one seller that I bought from before and she does give me a great price um, and it stopped me from spending a fortune on the Colourpop website so yeah the Liz McGuire palettes coming once those two palettes I've come, that'll be my eyeshadow palette collection for a while. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to order. So can you see I'm struggling to close it? I don't even think I'm going to order Black Friday. I'll see how I feel. Um, I mean, we are only in September. Not even September, we are only in August. So I might feel completely different. Um, and then, moving over here, I used to have another set of these drawers but I'm trying to make it as minimalistic as possible and the reason I'm doing this guys is because I spoke with my consultant yesterday and the appointment didn't go in my favour I will do a health update because I've not done one yet um, just to let you know what's gone on from the point of me being diagnosed with central and obstructive sleep apnea to my appointment a couple of friends know here on YouTube what's gone on um, just because I was devastated yesterday after the appointment but um, I'm kind of I'm kind of over it now um, so anyway there's this picture here of me and my mum I think I stubbed my toe on the sofa and it really hurt I think there I was probably about nine or ten I know I wasn't in high school because my hair was a lot shorter in high school but yeah nine maybe ten actually I, I would say probably more nine ish um, maybe even younger than that anyway um, that little height there when I first moved into this flat um, I just split up with my ex-husband my mum bought it me for Valentine's Day so we've got my lip liner cup my eyeshadow pencil cup then I wanted to put these on display so we've got my Huda Beauty palettes and two Natasha Denona palettes there but I have got the Natasha Denona Zendo so I don't know what I'm going to do I think I needed a, a bigger um, letter holder so I'm going to try and look into that right and then the first drawer in is all my Huda palettes um, so in total now I've got 10 um, which is more than enough um, but if I do see the um, if I do see the Amethyst Obsessions I wouldn't mind that but for now this is more than enough these two are new well these three are no actually these four are new so that one and that one that one and that one um, I had those two originally I bought that one first and then I bought that one I've had them a couple of years so that's that and then second drawer down has just got all my Juvia's Place palettes I don't have many um, but if my collection grew I obviously don't know where I'd put it I'd find somewhere to put them but this is where they're going to stay for a while so we've got the Zulu, we've got the Magic Mini, we've got the Violets and we've got the Deuce so I think I bought the Zulu first then the Deuce 
then the Magic Mini and then the Violets. So that's that. Then the third drawer down we've just got small palettes um, which I'm going to be doing a declutter really really soon just because I'm getting overwhelmed with my collection. So we've got the Lottie London. Um, we've got this one here that I've never used because I'm certain it's a fake. It's a fake Huda palette. It does say Pastel Rose Obsessions there but I don't think it's real guys. So I'm going to declutter that. I'm not even going to give it to anyone because... I know what goes into those eyeshadow palettes that are fakes. It's rat poison and, and everything like that. So I wouldn't use it on my eyes. Then we've got the Shoe Umara um, palette. This is such a nice palette for everyday use, guys. Like for work, it would be such a great palette. Um, this one is called the Sweet Beige Brown Palette. Then I've got the Kiko one, which I've not used yet. That's new. Um, we've got the NARS is old um, duo that's really really pretty we've got this one from Revolution um, which is the what's it called Ocean Treasure Palette this one's pretty as well I'm going to try and open it my friend Naomi I think would love that just because it's got such a pretty blue in and silver um, should really suit those colours they are very very pigmented then we've got this pixie one um, so we've got this pixie by Petra one then the bottom drawer is just completely empty so I don't know what I'm going to put in there so the only thing that has stayed the same for me is this corner um, so We've got these palettes here, um, that's stayed the same. This is a new one, so this has gone in there. So it's the Cara Beauty Daydream palette. Um, really, really pretty. There's a haul coming on that soon. And then, let's just get rid of these. I did put some things in here, I swapped things around. So these are my high-end palettes that I really do want to keep together so we've got the Sigma Rose which I've not used yet the two Natasha Denona minis I've got so this one is mini retro and then that one is is it star and then this one is mini star um, so they're the only two minis I've got um, then we've got the Pat McGrath Subline palette I think it is I Ecstasy Sublime, yep. Um, the Dose of Colour is pretty cool. The Kimchi Juicy Nine, that's not really high end. I think I paid about £18, maybe £20 with postage. And again, the Sigma, which I really, really do like. Then I did have some palettes in here, but I've taken them out just to put sponges in and whatnot. Um, then I've got smaller palettes in here so I'm going to go through everything I'm going to go through everything um, so I need to show you what else we've changed in the actual drawers down here right so this drawer stayed the same all my blushes um, cream blushes, powder blushes highlighters stayed the same but we're going to be doing quite a big declutter I think on all categories I just want to be a bit more ruthless only keep the things that I absolutely love um, just because thinking about it all is, is getting me down a little bit and yeah it's a waste of money just to be passing things on um, but at least now I know um, and I'm going to try and do something about it so second draw down again Oh, actually, no. I've put my liquid lipsticks here. Um, bullet lipsticks here. Then we've got, like, my face palettes. Um, like, there's kind of duos here. Like, I've got the Revolution Bronze and the Revolution Highlight palettes. Then we've got, like, these face palettes here and more face palettes back there. I mean, I've got one face, guys. Surely I don't need all these palettes. Um, and all these lipsticks come to that because I've got the high-end lipsticks as well over there um, so this drawer has more or less stayed the same with a few tweaks like this um, like with this li like with this liquid lipstick so that's that so let's move down to the third drawer this is the only drawer that's not changed but I do want to go through it and I want to test things out and the things that I don't want to keep like this is a potential now 
to go. It's a Primark neon green palette. I might do a is it a G video with the Huda um, neon green palette I've got. So yeah, I might do that video. Um, and then I might just declutter it, give it to my niece because she'll probably like to wear real colourful eyeshadow. And then we've got all my Revolution ones here, which I don't need to keep them all. I know I don't. Um, we've got some BH Cosmetics here. The W7 24K Gold Rush, which I'm going to get rid of once I get the Natasha Denona Gold. I definitely still want that palette. I've been wanting it for the past year and a bit now, so... Um, yeah, there is that. And then this one down here, the Charlotte Tilbury one, is for a giveaway for you guys. I'm going to be doing it probably when I reach 500 subscribers, um, which I'm not too far away from now. So if you haven't already subscribed, that you could win this. I'm doing it internationally. And also I've got a Maybelline um, Superstay Matte Ink lipstick so far. And I'm going to put a few other bits and pieces in. So it is quite a good giveaway if you do want to enter. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to pop this back in here. I do have my own of this palette and I absolutely love it. I've done some looks with it. So if you wanted to go and check out the looks that I created and what it looks like. By the way, that palette is the Pillow Tart palette. Um, but yeah, that's what's in this drawer. And then the last drawer is where it's changed the most. Right, so this is what it looks like. So... I had the liquid lipsticks in that cube, didn't I? Um, and it was just getting to the point where... Like, can we get it out a bit more? It was just getting to the point where I'm like, no, this is not working. So I put all my single eyeshadows there. Then we've got like all the creams and glitters here in another one of those trays. Then, then I put these like smaller eyeshadow palettes here. And the Natasha Denona Zendo and the... Too Faced Pumpkin is there because I'm doing a collaboration with the Selector Eyeshadow Ladies. Um, and then we've got the Profusion palettes here. So we've got a Profusion Wanderlust, Profusion Mixed Metals Glam, Profusion Violets. Um, we've got a palette that I made from Makeup Obsession with I think I've just shown you the Profusion Cosmetic Palette. So we've got a Too Faced Natural Eyes here. I don't think this is as good as the original. Um, I'm keeping it for now. The Essence Beautiful. The um, Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics Eyeshadow Palette. The Gwen Stefani one's back there as well. Then we've just got a Dior Palette there. Elizabeth Arden and YSL. And then we've got these um, Too Faced Christmas palettes that they did a few Christmases ago. So that's those. And then back here we've got my friend Mel palette that Lisa from Banning Panning and Beyond bought me. The Moira Sweet Delights palette. It is gorgeous guys. Absolutely love it. My Morphe Boss Mood. This camera strap's getting in the way. Um, just got to find maybe I'll put it behind my neck um then we've got the glitzy girl palette you need to see this this is absolutely stunning for the price point you've probably already seen it before I've used it a couple of times when I've done the selector shade when I've needed a glitter but it has every glitter that, that you can imagine and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it but this one in particular has got stars in it yeah you can the camera's just picking it up and there's a few more like that. That one does it as well. Um, that one. Um, that one. But yeah, it's just such a beautiful palette. And then we've got all our neon shades as well. Um, and it was only $9.99, guys. $9.99 for that. Um, and then we've got my Maddie Ziegler and Morphe palette. I got this one from Boots at Christmas time last year. So it's all of the shades. You're getting 28 kind of neutral shades. I'm not too sure whether I'm going to be keeping that. I might pass it on. Um, making a mess now. Everything needs to go back. Yeah, so this drawer changed the most. I had like all my like kind of smaller palettes in here. What is in that drawer there now? So 
I just feel for the moment this is how it's going to stay. Obviously the Zendo palette and the Too Faced palette will go somewhere else. This is why I want to get a bigger letter opener because I want all my Natasha Denona bigger palettes to go together with all my bigger Huda Beauty palettes. I think it looks nice as a display piece. Um, but yeah, that's everything. So what I need to do is, like I said earlier in the video, I need to do kind of a ruthless declutter. Um, and um, it's just overwhelming the amount of makeup. I've got one set of eyes, one face, you know, one pair of lips, and I've got all this. Um, I mean, these Colourpop palettes here would be enough for me, uh, but I don't want to get rid of all my higher end stuff. Um, a lot of the products that I'll probably go will probably be drugstore. Um, but yeah, I do like my Colourpop. And I mean, how can you not? Most of the packaging is just so darn cute. Um, but yeah, guys, um, I didn't show you the pictures over on the other side. I've moved my laptop because I've just put some makeup on. So that card's from Lisa as well. Um, I just thought I'd hang it up. Um, because it kept falling over. I did have it here. It kept falling over. Um, so I thought I'd hang it up there. So every time I do my makeup... I can think of Lisa. Um, so yeah, that's the card she sent me. I've got my Chanel print there. Um, that's a card off my mum as well. I wouldn't actually mind getting a frame for that card. I'll see if I can find one, but I don't know if I can get a frame small enough for it. But I will, I will say, and it will probably be around here somewhere as well. So this one says, Daughter, you will never be too old for Disney. Um, it's just really really nice and then these are like two Polaroids I took um, I had a bit of film left in this Polaroid camera and I didn't want it to go to waste and it had been in there a while so I just thought I would take a couple of selfies um, then we've got an old perfume bottle um, then we've got this palette here so I don't want to throw this out but the eyeshadows in it are just they're just not good anymore. I got this when I was with my mum in Sephora and um, it holds a lot of memories for me. So it's the Sephora Sun Bleach Filter Palette. So I just I just keep this up here. Yeah, just keep that up there like that. Um, obviously we, we've got my camera there, another perfume bottle up there and two more there. And then there's like a hair product here, I think. I think I'll have to, I'll try it one last time, but I think it's a hold, I think it's old, it's a heat defence spray, I will try it one last time, and then these ones up here, I'm not too sure whether I want to keep them, I think, I don't know if this one, yeah, this one's newer I think, I think we'll keep that one, and we'll get rid of the Tresemme, because I know for a fact I've had this a long time, um, so that's that. And then this is what it looks like from the back of where I film. So I obviously film on this chair here. Um, and I put that as far as it will go to the back of the vanity table there. Then we've got my workspace there now and my shot, my stash makeup and my little mirror. Um, and then over there we've got my makeup collection in those drawers. And um, the rest of my makeup collection. Um, but like I said, we'll be doing it declutter really really soon because it's just getting so overwhelming so guys this concludes the video thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate your time and support on the channel please like subscribe share and comment and i will see you in my next one bye guys